what's up guys welcome back to my fourth episode of flutter weekly widgets and uh, in today's video without wasting your time i'm going to talk about few widgets which are basically related to ios only because i have made so many videos as you can um, see in my playlist but uh, we haven't covered about ios that much but uh, for some videos maybe i try to explore more ios widgets and uh, because you know uh, for, uh, when you are using flutter so you are developing for two operating systems one is android and second is ios as far as uh, uh, fushia is concerned that is not yet uh, you know that there is nothing clear uh, which we know so uh, we are focusing only on two android and ios but we are mostly making every application um using the material app, uh, app material app widget and uh, the normal scaffold and everything so in this video i'll be um taking you to the cupertino world which is basically um having all kind of ios widgets and we will test that in our ios simulator so as you can see i have this uh, old project which is flutter widgets you can check it out on github as well and uh, here you can see we have a material app okay so um, before proceeding what i will do in the lib folder i will create a new folder which i can say episode 4 and underscore then i can just say cupertino okay and in this cupertino what i am going to do i i will create a new file which i can say cupertino example dot dart okay and now in main dot dart we are going to do few more changes rather than material app we will use a cupertino app okay so um, yeah and we need to import that package as well so this is fine and we can now remove this material dot dart okay so we are going to use this cupertino app so cupertino app will give the same thing which material app gives us but uh, the difference would be like uh, um, it, it, it will have the ios specific configuration like the font size and uh, the scroll uh, is the scrolling thing scroll view because um, you know there is a um, different mechanism for scrolling in android and different for ios so uh, that every that every configuration which is for, uh, which you see on normal iOS app that uh, will be given by this Cupertino app and uh, apart from that if you will see anything else then you will find mostly everything like the same okay everything is same okay so this is one thing now rather than episode 3 we will be using episode 4 which is not yet available so um, I can go to this uh, Cupertino example dot dart and here we can first of all import not the material just cupertino okay so this is fine now we can make a stateless widget and we can call it episode 4 okay and uh, rather than uh, returning a container what we are going to use earlier we were used uh, we were using the uh, scaffold but we have something called uh, cupertino page scaffold here okay which will give us a navigation bar and a child widget where we can uh, define any child or something like that so uh, here you can see we have we also have a property of background color then we have child then we have navigation bar so if we compare it with the normal material scaffold then we have a floating action button there an app bar there so there is not that app bar but we have the navigation bar and then we have the child and background color so for the child i am going to use a center and in the child we can say a text okay hello um, cupertino ios okay so this is what we have and now let's let's not add the navigation bar and before do, doing that let's run this in our simulator and then we will see what we get and if the font is not that big let me just uh, increase the font size a little bit so that uh, you don't okay that is fine now i guess so let me just go through the code again okay so we haven't imported it yet so we need to import this episode 4 as well okay just a minute and we are good to go 
now let me run this uh, app again in the iOS simulator and so we have now two widgets first one is Cupertino app and second one is this Cupertino page scaffold okay rather than normal scaffold we have uh, background color and uh, navigation bar and a child in this Cupertino page scaffold and uh, that's that's what we need for iOS if you have seen iOS applications then it's kind of very simple applications but uh, with a new human interface it looks good so as you will see here uh, we don't have that much kind of things like we get in material app but here we have a hello uh, Cupertino iOS in the child now we can add a navigation bar and this will be totally a Cupertino navigation bar so I can say Cupertino navigation bar and then this bar will have something like a leading widget a middle widget or a trailing widget so leading the leading widget is kind of uh, if you want a back back button or if you want uh, maybe any other button okay and in the middle if you want to show a title or uh, you can say like um, some um, head header or something and in the trailing you can have some action buttons which this this is kind of very similar to what we do in app bar okay material app bar so in the leading part what i can do i can use an icon and now i will use this cupertino icons which we get okay and we can use this back button for the time being okay then now uh, we will see this and you can see we have this app bar with this uh, grayish uh, background that is not uh, exactly gray it is kind of uh, between white and gray and then we have um, um th we have many properties here we can use the middle one as well and now we can specify a text here and we can say cupertino okay and for the trailing we can use something another icon maybe or icon button we, we get something like that. okay so icon we can get here or you can use anything again okay? okay and uh, i don't exactly remember let me just use cupertino icon what we find uh, here in normal ios apps uh, but uh, it can be anything okay it can be like a search or something like that yeah so this 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 is kind of uh, uh, app bar you get with this uh, cupertino navigation bar so this is another widget which uh, we will be using and uh, that's it so this is our cupertino page scaffold if you want to change the background color then you can change it okay so um you can specify here or you can use the cupertino colors dot and these are the mostly used colors otherwise nobody uses anything else because you have to maintain that as you can see if you if you are using active blue and it looks like this and if you will find mostly applications either will have the light background gray or this black one nowadays otherwise you won't find anything else they, they don't have that shitty red backgrounds and everything so I, I don't know why people use red backgrounds if they don't have that uh, custom theming or everything so this is something so we are not using anything so this is normal cupertino page scaffold apart from that um let me just uh, delete this piece of code we have uh, or we can what we can do we can have um we can just uh, cut it and uh, or maybe what we can do we can extract this widget okay and we can call it cupertino page escape for okay a class name should be started with an uppercase letter okay what we are going to do rather than this everything we can say widget cupertino page escape fold okay and we are going to just copy and paste this piece of code from here to there that's fine and now we can return the cupertino page escape fold okay so this is one thing now what we can do uh, we have something else for the tab bars okay so in ios uh, the tab bars are on the bottom side so what we can use so 
for that we can use something called Cupertino tab scaffold okay so there is one more scaffold which is Cupertino tab scaffold okay and uh, what it takes it takes a tab bar a tab builder okay so tab builder will uh, you can see when the tab become active then it will give that particular uh, whatever widget you want to provide for whichever tab okay so first uh, we will use this tab bar then we can say cupertino tab bar and then it takes some items so we can specify items and it should be more than or equal to two otherwise it won't work so here we can say um, bottom navigation uh, bottom navigation bar navigation bar item and here we have to specify the icon first of all so icons can be cupertino icons we can use here cupertino icons dot um maybe what you want phone maybe okay anything you want to use you can use it then we can have a title as well so we can say here phone okay and i am just going to copy it two times and then rather than phone we can have something called uh, message or chat or something. do we have something like that in the cupertino i don't know i haven't uh, searched for that but uh, we should be having some conversation okay so conversation bubble is like a chat bubble so chat we can write okay now this cupertino tab scaffold also uh, takes this tab builder where we can have a context and an index and then we can say in the center of the child we can have a text um, and uh, we can say something like if i is equal to is equal to let's say zero and then the text would be uh, phone else the text would be chat okay so we can use something like this now you can see something happened and we have phone and chat but uh, you know in the tab builder we have this uh, in the center but we have this black background because we haven't used any scaffold or something so you can also use a scaffold here so what we can do we can wrap it with a new widget and then we can uh, use our cupertino cupertino page scaffold okay again then it will take a background color and everything now you can see this is looking much better and if you want to give the navigation bar then also you can give it otherwise it is fine now if i will click on chat you can see chat if i click on phone you can see phone and it is looking kind of good doesn't it so it is again very natural and very good and similarly you have everything for um, this uh, cupertino widget so they have added a lot of other things as well like uh, you have Cupertino activity indicator and uh, anything you see on the uh, what I should say um, the iOS applications everything mostly everything would be available here and I will be making more videos in these widgets okay so now what I am going to do I am just um, taking this particular Cupertino tab scaffold and just putting it outside okay so that we can see another widget this is kind of very interesting and uh, I know that you will love it so tab scaffold and we can paste it here okay so this is one thing now uh, in the cupertino let's say we are using this cupertino page scaffold okay so now I am going to take you to another navigation bar which you have seen mostly in many of the android uh, or oh, sorry ios apps uh, from i guess since the time ios 11 came out so if you will use whatsapp app store or anything you will see this kind of ui which i am going to show you okay so we have this cupertino page scaffold we need a child okay and here i will use a custom scroll view okay because we want some slivers here so it will give me a uh, this uh, slivers list which i can specify which can have sliver widgets and now i am going to use something called cupertino cupertino navigation sliver navigation bar okay 
so this is again similar to the normal navigation bar but it has something called a large title so once i will show you then maybe you can relate it okay so it will take a large title where i can specify a text and i will write chats which is similar to whatsapp and now you can see so this is the thing and one more thing i forgot i should make this false so that we cannot see that debug okay let me just restart it a little bit yeah this is fine so now you can see this chat will uh, look like the thing which you see on uh, maybe whatsapp okay and now uh, we can use like something called sliver few remaining okay here we can have a child then in the center we can have another child the text let's say we are writing whatsapp or you can write anything okay it's totally your choice and now if i will scroll it then you can see this is the same effect which you will get on whatsapp okay and this is actually very interesting it is uh, the part of the human inter uh, human interface style and uh, this is the normal view which you will find in any ios application which is uh, developed by apple or uh, applications like whatsapp and others also following this uh, particular pattern and apart from large title you can specify the foreground color and again we have the leading middle and uh, trailing which is also available on uh, as you have seen in the normal navigation bar okay so this is something which is again very interesting and we will be doing more of higher stuff in our next videos maybe in future videos so if you did enjoyed this video then please do like this video and also subscribe to this channel and uh, if you if you really want to help me with uh, yeah you know supporting me so you can then share this video as well and also please make sure to check my github repository where i have a lot of lot of uh, examples available and uh, then we have a facebook group as well called let's flutter which you can join to ask question because it is kind of difficult to you know answer your questions here on youtube so yeah so we are done so i hope you enjoyed it so i'll, I'll see you in the next video bye bye take care and have fun be flutter